All right, we're rolling. It's April 13th. This is our 10th time meeting now as a group. I've got the agenda or the summary up from last week and quickly go over just to refresh our memories. We talked about transaction lifecycle features last week, how they're currently tracking towards June to be able to start testing in Jungle. We've got two of the new ENF engineers joining today. I think we might even have some of them on the call. We talked about Mandel testing on Jungle. EOS Nation has a bunch of our nodes already upgraded. Things are going well. It's available in the validator. And uh, there's some slight delays with the Docker documentation as one of the new ENF engineers are, will be delayed in their start date. I'd like to add an item for today, if if it's permitted, or sure. to the agenda anyways. It is to revisit an old item, which I believe you have closed, where we discussed the versions or essentially the software, that, what we would support or would you be able to either, I see that Randall's on the call, either through EOS support or through Pomelo, Pomelo is probably the combination of both, send out a questionnaire to, because now we have what, 145 applicants, which represent, I think, a really good representation of the developers on EOS or a good chunk anyways. Could you send yeah. out to ask whether or not max support for them I, I don't know how to phrase it because if we phrase it would you like something extra everybody's going to say yes we want to find out whether or not it's how painful will losing you, math support be for yeah. you kind of thing yeah because if we drop it it will be harder to bring it back and create a process to bring it back whereas if we keep it now we would need to consider supporting both right old mac architecture through i guess regular x86 right. as well as then m1s but it was brought back as, as something that, that should be looked at through Pomelo would be the best place to see whether or not there's actual need for this. And it would give us at least an extra metric to find out whether or not we should or shouldn't. Sure. Was this smart support actually for Intel architecture or for ARM as well? Oh, that's why I'm saying uh, Stan. So ARM is the M1 and yes. uh, x86. Does it exist at all? Does it exist at the moment? But, but, but yeah, just don't know. worry about that part. The, the part is, do we drop <laughs> yes or no? And right now we said yes. Outdated platform, hardware platform, which will not be maintained by Apple any longer. So yeah, it has to be dropped because we don't have, as far as I know, we don't have any okay, even just, working solution for M1 that is just, just uh, quick to deploy. So deploy. I think we're talking getting, two levels getting of ahead of yourself here. Yes, getting ahead of yourself. So, we currently have Mac support. support. Let's yeah. just figure but, out whether or not the developers on this platform, and I think the way that you phrased it, Daniel, was good, whether or not it is worthwhile dropping it or keeping it. If we decide right. that we need to keep it, then yes, that means that we will likely be need, we need to, to put add over support for M1. Correct. Yeah. And, and and figure out what that means. It's just not we don't know what that means yet, but we just need that first part of whether or not we should drop it or keep it. And I think that through Pomelo, because we've got outreach to a lot of developers right now, it would give us a better sense, which would be outside of the block producers of whether or not people, the community would value at keeping Mac support. If the answer is yes, then we can figure out how do we support it afterwards. And then what you mentioned, Stan, becomes relevant. But for now, just the first part. Oh, I mean, we have experts in the community. So yeah. We've already had well. this discussion in this call. These people okay. have already weighed in. I'm <laughs> asking to do a questionnaire specifically for the people in Pomelo because there's 145 applicants. It will give us a much broader um, data input than the people that are typically on this call. We, we already know the people on this call, what their preference was. We ended up dropping Mac support. Yeah. So we're happy to send out a survey to the Pomelo users. I might need some help crafting the survey question specifically. Maybe there's an opportunity to, I don't know if that's the only question. Maybe while we're surveying you, maybe there's some other questions we want to ask at the same time. And I know we're talking about... Do my about, surveys work well? Like, could people just even answer in the email that they get? Maybe, one we, question, one click, as easy as possible, and we get high per that might participation be, that rate? Might be, we might be getting more participation in that way. I would have to. I haven't done that before. We'd have to experiment with that. But I'm sure there is click a button, yes, no. We could track that somehow. It's not something we've experimented with yet, but the technology exists for sure. Do we, what's the timelines we're looking at? How soon do we need to get a response on this? Well, seeing as we either dropping or keeping Mac support in its current form, at least for, for the main time, for this release, then sooner rather than later, because we would know whether or not we're compiling with that or not. Sure. But again, if we keep it to one question, kind of a micro survey. Yeah. And we're only and interested in targeting the grant, the grants that were approved to participate or yeah, i wouldn't reach out to your ten thousand list because then you'll get no. other people who aren't developers which is somewhat irrelevant yeah we're up so to i, I would focus on the 140 now. 
45 or so actual, you could even do the, the ones we didn't approve. That's fine as well. It, it's still the developers, but that at least would give us, you know, even a 50% reply, a good, at least 70 responses or something like that, which would be more than the typical 20 we have here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think wording it the way you had suggested before or somewhere thereof might be better than do you want a yeah. new feature? Right. Yeah, I'll think about that wording a little more. And we'll need to give some context in there about Mandel coming, all that sort of stuff. But this is a good first step. Part of our goal also with Mandel upgrade is the communication strategy. So this is like a nice first dribble of a engaged population, letting them know that this is coming and how it might impact them and getting their feedback. So I think that's a good place to start. Anyone have anything to add on that topic? All right. We've got, do we have our new devs on the line? Arig and Matt, is so it? Arig won't be, oh, he is. I was going to say Arig wouldn't love to join because it's 6 a.m. for him, but he is on. I, <laughs> you got your coffee? Of it. And Matt is here as well. Welcome, guys. It's happy to have you. Are we, I don't, I don't know if we have any updates on that. There's a new request I saw. I don't think this impacts, I don't know what this is for your team or for, I saw Matthew post this request to backport another feature from 2.1. I see Kevin has commented and maybe Kevin can provide some context if he's on. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, Matthew put that in there. I mean, there's a whole slew of things that I think we want to backport. So I, you know, I think you just happen to notice this one and, and put an issue in for it. All right. And is, is this some likely that we'll be able to backport this for 2.1? If I'm not mistaken, this is related to the lost transactions that are going, this is going to help improve that situation. Yeah, there's a number of uh, logging improvements in 2.1 that we should capture, which is what I was indicating there with my little comment as well, is that, and all of those are worthwhile, I think, to, to bring back. So yeah, we should definitely do that over time, for sure. Great. Are there other features that you know of, Kevin, that aren't currently being captured you know would be worthwhile capturing in the short term to include in 3.1 and then some that would be, and maybe we can make the distinction, some that should be captured but might not fit in the time frame of what we're trying to achieve with uh, 3.1, but still should be captured for later versions? Yeah. And would you be able to kind of make a list of that or or we can help you out with that or if there's something to, to, to be done there? Yes. I started that list. It's rather involved to actually do a detailed list. I, I, I thought at first it would be fairly easy, but there's a lot to do to be frank. So I did start a list. I, I need to get back to that list and, and clean it up and, and make it complete. And I just haven't had the opportunity to do so. But yeah, there, there are a rather large list of things that, that we should back. Especially for performance improvements. Is that something yep. that it would help if either Matt or Bucky, when he joins, is that something that would help if they, if both of you essentially, or the three of you or combination thereof would be able to tackle? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the rule of thumb at, at block one was that, you know, if you had a, a release 2.0 and a release 2.1, that what you do, the only thing that you put in the old release was bug fixes. So any optimizations uh, that was just pure optimizations would only go into the like 2.1 in that example. And so in that case, yeah, there's a number of optimizations that ought to be backported to 2.1 because in for our testing, 2.1 two is quite a bit faster than 2.0 in a number of different ways, some of which have already been put in the manual, but not all of them. There's, I'd say at least half of the optimizations in 2.1 are not in 2.0. And so, yeah, those should be backported. So there's optimizations. And then there's a slew of features as well that are useful from things, block striding, which I know is something that like block producers are very interested in, to actually running with no block log at all is a feature that's over there on ESIO's site as well to a whole slew of other kind of minor things like logging enhancements and a myriad coma of other fixes. Things. Yeah. Yes. Coma fixes. Yes. Yes. I think those have been backported, but we should triple check that. Yes. There were several of them. So yes. And that may explain why they were kind of split on the two different branches. Some may be bugs and some may be enhancements, but yes. Yeah. And there's a number of things that, you know, that were found via dog fooding. It's amazing what happens when you actually use your software, you know, in terms of like <laughs> enhancements that uh, who would have known those of us that were screaming actually were breaking stuff. So yeah, there's a list. We should work on that list. You, you know, it's one of those things that like, if I was to sit down and, and do a complete list, it would probably take, you know, a day and a half of, of time, maybe longer to actually create the list itself. So it's, it's a bit of work. So Kevin, so when you say list, you're saying the, the brain trust list between you and Arag and, and Matthew, Basically 
basically the old block one way of keeping a list, which was in your in your in your memories. No, I've got a spreadsheet actually that okay. Stan created that I've been filling in, but it's it needs cleaned up and it needs to be complete. So it's it was just a bit more than, than I imagined at first. I mean, you have to remember that two one was in development for like a year and a half with a sizable team. So yeah, there's things in there that we certainly don't want, like you know prune transaction stuff, which is just a mess. But there's a number of other things that are very useful that that are in there. So you know, it's just a matter of calling through all those and saying, yeah, we want that. No, that doesn't make it. And then working on on getting them, them backported. Some of them come over rather cleanly. Others are intermixed with the hack transaction stuff that makes them very difficult. For example, block log striding is intermixed with all the pruning stuff and it makes it very difficult to backport. We'll probably wind up almost just implementing it from scratch again. So, you know, that, that comes into yeah. as well. So is this already covered by the the documentation Stan is working on? I know Stan has been going through all the features and documenting it, or is this another exercise that you'll continue, Kevin? I'm not sure what Stan's working on. It's still the old list that I, I made about two months ago with the uh, features. It was a review plus a list of features. From Your our... list is just documenting what's in Mandela already, whereas this that, looks like a list, list of... of... Yeah, there's an additional list of features which might be uh, useful to get in, but I haven't updated it for like two months. I need to go through them again. Okay, so it sounds like maybe that there's some overlap between this list, these two potential lists. Is that right? Maybe that this is uh, something you can collaborate with Kevin on completing? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense to do that anyway. And I think it'd be good once we have that list to make an assessment of what our, you know, what, you know, effort level for pulling them forward so we know what to prioritize and what are, are useful features, but may be an entire, you know, may just need to be their own, uh, may not be back portable. Right. And that list was for, for three zero release Canada. Now we have three or five. So yeah, I need to update that anyway. Yeah, well, I think we're talking for, in all cases, what we're talking about here would stuff that would be going into 3.1 or 3.2 or right, some future release, not the existing, yeah. right? To Brian's point, we want to make sure we don't bite off more than we can chew and delete delay the 3.1 release. So if it's helpful, maybe we should do a call, you know, once Stan, once you've updated your list and Kevin, you have a list, I know Matt wants to go through and comb stuff, you know, maybe Bucky will be here next week, you know, maybe we can get a call in the afternoon so our can join and we just get like the five of you and maybe I'll take notes or something all on one call and try to merge these lists and you know j rough sizing of are these things small enough and quick enough to get into three one or do some need to delay to three two I know a lot of this is also being driven by the API working group which I'm kind of loosely following and it, I'm wondering if it makes sense to add Arig and Matt into that so they see what you know Matthew is discovering and what's going on with these lost transactions I think that's a lot of uh, what's driving some of this. Yeah, you can add this also to the Sorry, say that again? In the chat, I pressed it. Okay, great. I'll drop it in here so we don't lose track of it. Yeah, I know I've been doing the, the working on the API stuff for the transaction retry, transaction status, and subjective enhancements that we've been working on. You know, I, I keep hitting things. It's like, oh, yeah, I forgot that's not Mandel yet. You know, and then so and some of the some of those we've actually pulled over as part of that work just because it's like, oh, you know, it's easier to just go ahead and pull over what we need than to, you know, say, well, OK, let's get it later. So some of that, you know, we're getting, quote unquote, for free. But there's plenty of other stuff that, that needs brought over. So I guess, can I leave it to you guys to coordinate? That sounds like you're going to make sense to meet offline, just the, you know, maybe a handful of you. And then you guys can report back with what you come up with in the coming, either next week or the following week. Thank I'm happy to help with that. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Anything else as it pertains? We still, you know, again, last week we said we we're tracking towards, what was it here? June, early June to be ready for testing on Jungle. Any reason to believe that's changed? All right. We're still good for that. Awesome. Testing Mandel on Jungle. Only update I have is Nation now has the remainder of our nodes on Jungle have been upgraded to Mandel. The only ones that have, we haven't upgraded yet are our Diffuse nodes. We still have some work to do on the Diffuse software before we can upgrade Diffuse. And that is in progress. I, I haven't had a chance to get all ours upgraded, but I did see some questions. I, I do plan on hopefully testing out Hyperion on 305. Uh, I mean, is it worth waiting until 30? 
six or three one for ship for anybody that may have insight into the future i'll say before i go beat my head on this version and the whole ship version sorry for beating your head but i think you should go beat your head because there's no 306 coming out anytime soon i am perfectly fine with that that less head beating (laughs) but every now and then kevin will just be like oh yeah that completely changed it's global v sequence one versus zero now or something so i just generally ask if anybody had any yeah you might wait a month let me know but i do plan on trying to tackle that once all my dumpster fires are extinguished all right there's yeah there's plenty of that going on right now so i i yeah we feel your pain okay great any anyone else have anything to add on jungle testing all right we'll continue to report again right now nothing everything's from what we've seen is running smoothly we're looking forward to to getting diffuse running on there too what else we got here? Can we, Stan, do you have any updates on the, you know, we talked a little bit about the, the list you put together. Are we getting close to maybe you and I collaborating on assembling some of the material you put together in a, a package we can start sharing more publicly? Or is it, uh, what kind of state and status are you in on the documentation it's you're doing? In a miserable stock state. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I need to sit them and work on that. It's just... Okay. Do you have any sense on when that will be, when we'll have uh, capacity to make that a priority? Yeah, I'll, I'll review the tasks today and I'll give you feedback. Yeah. We're still, what are we shooting for? September is the real big scary day that people need to worry about. It shouldn't be scary. We're going to make it, we're going to make it smooth, but it would be good to yeah, probably by, by August when our BPs are upgraded, we want to have some good communication, I think with all the resources and what we've learned from that upgrade. So we still got some time, but yeah, let's not lose sight of the time passing. I'm also going to put together a very high level. I said this a few calls ago. I still haven't gotten to it. I'm in the same boat as you, Stan. Too many priorities at once. But I think we're in a, I'm in a pretty good shape that by next week, I should have a very high level summary of the state of Mandel, what our goals are. It's something we can start sharing on Twitter and publicly and, and you know, make sure everyone's aware of the high level goals here. What else? I think that's... Are there any other things that we're keeping an eye on? We'll revisit Docker April 27th. Yeah, I don't know if Matt or Arig wanted wanted to say a few words or anyone else have anything to add. All right, I'll take that as a no and, and we can wrap things up and I'll post the summary shortly and we'll see you all next week. Thank you, bye. All right.